My red velvet marble cake has turned out soft, it's fluffy and very delicious. The custard, the homemade custard, because it's super delicious and just worth trying. So this is the best red velvet marble cake recipe ever with very few ingredients and the outcome is just delicious. The red velvet marble cake also has a very nice cocoa flavor since we added in some cocoa. So grab yourself the ingredients listed in the description box and let's make this delicious red velvet marble cake recipe together with some homemade custard for our cake. You'll start off by prepping your bandit cake tin and I have mine over here. So I'm going to be spraying with baking spray. So I'm going to spray all round. Even the middle part of the cake tin. Make sure to thoroughly oil the sides. And to make it easy for me to remove the cake from the tin, I'm also going to be adding in some all-purpose flour. So carefully, I'm going to add in the flour, about a tablespoon of flour. Then I'm going to dust all round. Make sure also the middle part is well dusted with flour. And then I'm going to tap out the excess flour. And then my bandit cake tin is going to be ready for my butter. So I'm going to place aside. And before you begin, you're going to be preheating your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I'm going to pick a mixing bowl. And in my mixing bowl, I'm going to be adding in some margarine. Pick a spatula. Then next, you're going to whip up your butter using a hand mixer of a high speed for around two minutes until the butter is soft and fluffy. Next, you're going to add in your sugar. Crack in three eggs. Then you're going to whip up your butter for around three to four minutes until the butter is soft and looking very silky. In between, you're going to use your spatula and scrape the bowl so that all the butter can be combined. And then you're going to whip up for another. And then you're going to whip up until smooth. This step is very crucial while making cake because once you whip up the eggs until they're fluffy together with the margarine and sugar, your cake is going to turn out very soft and fluffy. So my butter at this point is ready. That is the wet ingredients already. So I'm going to be adding in some salt and baking powder, vanilla essence, which is going to add in a very nice flavor to our red velvet marble cake. And using your spatula, you're going to fold in your baking powder, salt, and vanilla essence into the butter. Next, you're going to be adding in your all-purpose flour together with milk. And over here, I have one cup of milk, room temperature milk, and my all-purpose flour, which is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to add in intervals. And at this point, you don't need a hand mixer. All you need is your spatula because you don't want to knock out all the air from the butter. 
I'm going to fold in the flour, add in some milk. Fold in the milk. And then you're going to add in the rest of the all-purpose flour and milk. Scrap the bottom of the bowl to make sure all the ingredients are fully combined. And once everything is looking nice and smooth, just like this. If you notice any lumps in the butter, there's no need to panic because the point here is not to overmix the butter because you don't want the cake to crack on top. So I'm going to transfer some of the butter into another tin. Once you have transferred half of the butter into another bowl, you're going to be adding in some cocoa powder, red velvet food color. This is the liquid one and also some milk to thin out the butter. So I'm going to sieve out my cocoa powder because it is usually very lumpy. Add in some color. One teaspoon of the red velvet food color. Add in two tablespoons of milk. And then I'm going to fold in until everything is fully combined into the butter. Look at that vibrant signature red velvet color, which is looking very gorgeous. So you're going to fold in until everything is nice and smooth. And if you notice that your butter is still thick, you can add in a tablespoon of more milk to thin out the butter a little bit. Now, 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 now. The next step is to transfer in my two butters into my bandit tin, which, which I've already prepped up. My oven also is ready, so I'm going to quickly add in some butter into my tin so that we can make that red so that we can make that marble effect so you're going to scoop out your vanilla butter scoop out your red velvet and then you're going to repeat until the butter is all in the tin i'm really excited for this red velvet marble cake because I'm usually in for a good surprise because you can never tell how the marbling is effect is going to come out <laughs> after baking. Almost done. Make sure to scrape out all the butter from your tin. You don't want to waste anything because the cake is going to be delicious. Vanilla butter also. And then I'm going to tap my bandit tin on my countertop for around two times. Two times. This is to level out the butter. Now, once you're done transferring all the butter in your tin, you're going to be baking the cake at 180 degrees Celsius for 50 to 60 minutes. And to check if the cake is ready, you're going to insert a skewer in the middle of the cake. Once the cake is, once the skewer comes out clean, your cake is ready. Also, you can check if the cake is ready by looking at the sides of the tin. If the cake is fully released from the tin, the cake is ready. My red velvet marble cake is almost done baking and I'm going to be showing you how to make custard at home. And it's going to be a very easy recipe with very minimal ingredients. So check the description box for the full recipe. So there are three key ingredients for this recipe. That is milk, some custard powder and sugar. And you also need a whisk and a cling film to wrap your custard once everything is done. So in your bowl, you're going to be adding in your custard powder, sugar, then I'm going to add in around half a cup of milk. Using a whisk, I'm going to whisk in the milk and sugar until fully combined into the milk. 
This is a very simple recipe. So once done, you're going to move over to your stove top and place a saucepan of a medium high flame and add in the rest of your milk. This was 500 ml of milk. So the recipe is very simple. Yes. Make sure all the custard is fully dissolved into the milk. Next, you're going to add in your custard mixture into your pot and then using a whisk, you're going to whisk in until everything simmers. You're going to cook for around two to three minutes until the custard starts to thicken up. And once you notice that the custard is thickening up, you put out the flames and let the custard cool. At this point, you can see my custard has thickened up. So I'm going to put out the flames. Look how silky it's looking. Then next, you're going to transfer to your bowl. Just look how silky it's looking. Pick your clean film and wrap the custard so that it doesn't form any skin. So make sure it's on top of the custard. Once you're done wrapping your custard, you are going to let it cool for around three to five minutes until it's warm. Then you can serve over your red velvet marble cake. My red velvet cake. My red marble cake is also ready. So I'm going to check on my cake. Wow. Look how gorgeous the cake is looking. So I'm going to insert a skewer to make sure the cake is well baked. As you can see, there's no wet butter. That means that the cake is fully baked. So I'm going to let the cake cool in the tin for around 10 minutes. And then I'm going to invert so that my red velvet marble cake can cool a little bit so that I can enjoy with my homemade custard. Yes. My red velvet marble cake has completely cooled and also my custard is a little bit warm so I'm ready to cut into my cake. So I'm going to use a serrated knife and cut a slice so that I can check out the inside. As you slice into the cake, it's super soft. You can tell it's super soft and fluffy. Wow. Just look at that love the marbling effect the other side is just perfect just look at that so gorgeous so i'm going to place on a plate and then i'm going to be cutting another slice of my delicious red velvet marble cake i'm a huge lover of cake so i'm always excited when i make a cake and it turns out delicious i'm going to place my cake aside so that I can enjoy some delicious cake with some custard. And over here, I have a piece of my cake. Pick my custard. Wow, it's looking so good and delicious. Then using a spoon, I'm going to scoop out some of the delicious custard and transfer to my plate. Gorgeous, so yummy. Give my red velvet marble cake a try. Mm. I absolutely love how the custard is silky and delicious. So yum. And also my red velvet marble cake has turned out soft. It's fluffy and very delicious. Go in for another bite because this is just tempting. So I hope you'll be trying out this easy recipe, which is going to turn out amazing. And hope also you'll be trying out the custard recipe because it's totally worth it.